So, you've decided on a Skybridge Plus. You're already on the path to success with DMR. But now that you have it in your hands, what are you supposed to do with it? Hi, my name is Lucas, Alpha Echo Zero Lima India. And today we're gonna go over how to set up your Skybridge and become familiar with its key features. For those new to DMR, this video should clear up a lot of potential confusion. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more of the ham radio content that you crave. All that being said, let's get started. Today we're gonna set up your Skybridge Plus to use with your DMR radio to communicate with the Brandmeister network. For this video, we're gonna use our super code plug which is available on our website at bridgecomsystems.com. The first step is to look at the IP address on your Skybridge screen. Go ahead and open up a web browser and type that in there. The next step is to click Configuration. Now sometimes there will be a pop-up for a username and a password, and the username is pystar, pi-star, and uh, the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is update it by clicking Update. And what this does is it updates the dashboard to the most current version and it also updates the call sign database so that um, they'll actually show up as call signs rather than just DMR IDs on your Skybridge. And this is an automated process and it will say finished when it is finished. Once this is done, click configuration. The next thing to check is to be sure that DMR mode is turned on. If you had to turn this switch on, go ahead and click apply changes to refresh the page. After that's set, under MMDVM display type, make sure this says next ion. Make sure by port it says modem. And next to next ion layout, make sure it says ON7LDSL3. For hostname, unless you have a specific reason to, don't change that. For node call sign, that's where you put in your call sign. For DMR ID, uh, CCS7, that's where you type in your DMR ID. For the radio frequency, this needs to match the simplex frequency that's in your code plug. Our super code plug comes in different frequencies, and it doesn't matter which one you pick, this just needs to match it. For latitude and longitude, town and country, um, this just describes the location of the hotspot, and so first go ahead and type in your town. And to find the latitude and longitude, the easiest way to do this is to copy this, open up a new tab, and in Google, paste it there and type lat long and this will show the coordinates of it. And now you just copy and paste. Now since notice how this says west, if this is a west coordinate, it needs to be negative. If it's an east coordinate, it needs to be positive. Since this is west, we'll keep it negative. Next is the URL. Um, if you click auto, then it will default to the QRZ page for your call signs page. Um, if you have some other site you want it to direct to, then just click manual and type whatever you want in there. This could be like a personal web page or something. For radio modem type, this needs to say Skybridge MMDVM HS dual band for Pi GPIO. And that just has to do with the Skybridge board that's inside of it. For node type, um, public will allow any DMR ID to have access to your hotspot. Um, private will only allow you to have access to it. Now, if um, you have a few friends that you also want to allow access to it, but you don't want anyone to have access to it, <clears throat> 
you can put in a comma separated list of DMR IDs for all of them that you want to use it. But leaving it in public is fine if, uh, if you want people to use it. It just doesn't restrict who's able to use it. For APRS host enable, um, this just makes your uh, hotspots location public. It's not required for operation, so you can turn it off unless you want that to be public. Um, for system time zone, um, this, is, this controls the time displayed on it, and it also controls the time displayed in the timestamp for the contacts in the dashboard. Um, in general, UTC is going to make it easier to log things correctly, but this can be set to whatever you desire it to be. And for the dashboard language, English US if you're in the US, otherwise just set it according, accordingly. Under DMR configuration, the DMR master controls which Brandmeister server. Well, it actually controls any DMR server, but um, in this case, we're talking Brandmeister, so it'll control what server you initially connect to. So this, um, all the BM prefixed ones um, are for Brandmeister. So just pick the one that's uh, generally the one that's closest to you will have the fastest connection. Um, the, the United States ones are 3102, 3103, and 3104. And generally 3104 is more for the East Coast, 3102 is more for the Central Area, and 3103 is more for the West Area, but they all work. For the hotspot security password, this needs to match what you set in your hotspot security password field in your Brandmeister self-care account. In the description below, there's a link to a video that goes into more detail about that. For DMR ESSID, this is a way to use your DMR ID to have multiple hotspots that are all independent from each other. And if this is your only hotspot that you plan on using, just leave this at none. The DMR color code, this is just the DMR color code that you're using to communicate with it. Our super code plug uses color code one. So unless you have a custom code plug, just leave this at one. But once you've set all that, go ahead and click any of these apply changes buttons. And once this page refreshes, go ahead and click dashboard. If everything is set correctly, this DMR net box will be green. And now to make absolutely sure that it works, let's test it with Parrot. This is Alpha Echo Zero Lima India testing. This is Alpha Echo Zero Lima India testing. And if that worked, you're ready to make QSOs. Now you should have what you need to boot up and operate your SkyBridge like a pro. If you haven't picked up SkyBridge for yourself, check it out at our website in the description below this video. For any questions or concerns about your hotspot, feel free to submit a support ticket on our website. Link is also in the description. We want you to succeed with DMR, so let's work together to make sure you do. My name is Lucas, Alpha Echo Zero Lima India, and as always, thanks for watching 7.3.